What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. I am loving you guys making these recipes, tagging me on Instagram, I just love to see it. Seriously, keep doing it, you guys are keeping this train of going. You guys doing that is like the coal, and I'm like the little engine that could. In today's video, man, we're going back to breakfast. I know a lot of us are on the same page, eating that anabolic French toast every day, and there's nothing wrong with that. But every now and again, we gotta switch things up. So today, man, we are making an anabolic breakfast burrito. Not only is this thing absolutely massive, it's covered in queso cheese, filled to bursting, with sausage and bacon. I'm telling you guys, once you try this breakfast burrito, you ain't ever gonna look back, I guarantee it. As always, man, if you have the RGF recipe book, link in description, this recipe's now in there along with every other one of my anabolic recipes. If you're trying to follow the anabolic diet and you just want a ton of options to choose from, I'm telling you, man, this is probably the best thing you can have in your pocket. Well, besides your passport if you're traveling internationally, but we're not gonna get that deep with it. But seriously, this could be the best investment you ever made, man. It changed my life and I want it to change yours. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! That's how you do it. First thing we want to do is grab a food scale. There's no reason you shouldn't have one, guys. This thing's like nine bucks on Amazon. If you're low on money, go deliver a couple newspapers, maybe mow a lawn. Get you one of these, it's gonna pay off. First thing we're gonna do is get a cutting board and sit it right on our food scale. And now we're just gonna trim and weigh out 56 grams of turkey bacon. We don't want to use regular bacon here because it's loaded with fat, loaded with extra calories. Yeah, it tastes good, but butt it ain't doing nothing for that gut. So instead, turkey bacon, we're making the better choice. And once our turkey bacon's chopped up, we just move it to the side, and I'm gonna grab a turkey sausage link, hot Italian, and we need 109 grams of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it into little pieces so it's gonna cook faster this way and be easier to put into our breakfast burrito. Regular sausage is great and all, guys, but it's loaded with calories and extra fat, man. When we use options like this, we can still have the foods we love without sacrificing our bodies. The goal should be every meal you eat, you want it to be anabolic. Now that our turkey sausage and turkey bacon is weighed out, all we gotta do is preheat a pan to medium heat, grab your meat, and just toss it in. But first, hit it with nonstick. Now we're good. Then just go in and spread it all out so it cooks evenly. And once your sausage and bacon is finished cooking, pull it off the stove and set it to the side. Now you just wanna grab a plate and we need a large burrito tortilla. The ones I'm using are Mission. You don't gotta use this brand if you don't want. Just make sure it's around 200 calories and it's big. You're gonna be good. And once your tortilla's on a plate, all we're gonna do now, we're just gonna take our burrito, throw it in the microwave for around 30 seconds. Boom. That's gonna soften it up a bit and make it easier to fold without tearing. Pro tip. Boom. Once it's done in the microwave, lay down a piece of foil, hit it with some nonstick, and lay your tortilla right on it. Now we'll just take our sausage and bacon and put it right here in the middle. Guys, I wouldn't lie to you, this smells gorgeous. <laughs> Now we just wanna weigh out about 56 grams of fat-free mozzarella cheese, and then we're just gonna sprinkle it right here in our burrito. You can never have too much cheese on these guys. The goal is when you bite into it, you want it to be cheesy, you want it to be gooey, you want it to be full of flavor. And the final thing we're gonna put in the burrito is 56 grams of fire-roasted poblano and corn salsa. You can use plain salsa if you want, but I'm more of a fan of these exotic ones because I feel like the amount of flavor you get out of it, it's like adding five more ingredients worth of flavor instead of just one. Trust me, man, try it out, you won't regret it. At this point, burrito is basically done. Now we just gotta fold it, guys, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right here. First thing you wanna do is make a pile in the middle of the burrito of all your ingredients. Doesn't matter how vertical she gets, bud, you just want her as far away from the edges as possible. And once you do that, take two of your sides and touch them right like this. Once you got these touching, flip this side up all the way, look at that, to right there, see? We created that seam, then you just fold it over, bingo. Now that the burrito is folded, we're gonna transfer it to a baking sheet. And at this point, you could literally just eat the burrito and it'd be great. But we're gonna step it up a tiny little notch. We're gonna throw it in the oven anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. It's gonna let everything get gooey, everything get warm. It's gonna be worth it, trust me. I'm a doctor. No, I'm not. Slide her in, set a timer. 
And now we just got one final thing, we gotta get ready. Now in a microwave safe bowl, we are going to measure out 32 grams of white queso. I'm telling you guys, the burrito would be amazing without this. But with it, really gonna take her to the next level. Now that our queso is ready to go, we're just gonna sit it off to the side, because we're gonna use it here in a minute. But really now, we're just waiting on the burrito to be finished. So guys, once it's done, we're gonna pull it out, we're gonna take a peek. Let's go. And boom, we just pulled our breakfast burrito out of the oven. Looks a little boring, but we're about to spice it up. I'm gonna take my queso that I just heated in the microwave and I'm just gonna slowly drizzle it on top. Ooh, man. A little bit of queso can go a long way, boys. And you already know it wouldn't be an RJF video without that cut test, boys. Let's go right down the middle and see what's hiding inside. Oh my goodness, look at that. If I could describe to you guys the smells coming off of this right now, woo, you wouldn't even believe it. You can even see the red juices flowing out into the queso, man. This is gonna be a winner. All right, guys, I think we've been staring at it long enough. I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. Really hoping that thumbnail turned out good. In case it didn't, smash that thumbs up button so more people can watch this video. I'm gonna keep standing on your toes about that. You should be hitting that thumbs up button before you even watch the video, right? You do that for me, I'll keep releasing these videos, or we're gonna have a good relationship. Now, before we get to biting into this bad boy, let me get a little pep in my step. You're gonna do about half a scoop of Final Boss Aminos plus caffeine. It's gonna make my water taste good. And this will probably be a little spicy, so I'm gonna need it. Boom, throw on the lid, give her a little twist. Hear that ice in there jingling? Sounds like a pocket full of quarters. Give her a little. Ooh, that's where it's at, bud. And that one ain't hard to drink, I promise. Sour Moon Rock Aminos, available at FinalBossFormers.com, Amazon.com, RJF10, two-day shipping. There's a lot of info there. You guys already know it, though, so I shouldn't even be telling you. All right, let's dig right into this, man. I am so excited because of how good this smells. Oh, my goodness. Let's get a big bite here. <laughs> oh, that cheese is stringy. So we got queso, we got salsa, we got sausage, we got bacon, we got everything we need. I mean, this is going to be a bite bursting with flavor. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, you guys ready? Three, two, one, let go. Crap, I'm not playing with you guys at all. This is the best burrito I have ever made in my life. And I'm not just saying that, I mean that. This is the best burrito I've ever made in my life. Oh my God. The way all these flavors come together, you got the queso, you got that poblano salsa, you got the sausage, you got the bacon. Oh, it's like a flavor explosion in your mouth. Oh my gosh, this is legit perfection. You have to make this verbatim, exactly how I did it. Do every single step, sit your butt down in your chair, pull out your phone, tag me on Instagram, Instagram, film it, then you eat it, then you come back to this video and you let me know how good it was. Real talk, this is phenomenal. Good Lord. Oh, I'm just beside myself right now, guys. I don't, I don't even know what to do or say. I'm just so mind blown by how freaking amazing this is. And when you bake it, it makes the tortilla kind of crispy. Ooh, I'm a texture guy and this is doing it for me. I mean, for real, just get a look at that, man. I wanted to use a fork and I wanted to be civilized during this video, but a burrito like this deserves zero respect. Oh. Wow. Home. Oh. Now I need a napkin. For real, this is incredible. I gotta save a little bit of it for the end of the video or else I would eat that whole thing right now. Jesus. Time to go over the macros, people. In this entire burrito, if you make it exactly how I did it with all the ingredients, what you end up with is 610 calories, only 22 grams of fat, 55 grams of protein, 48 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber. Now, admittedly, this has more fat in it than most of the recipes I make. But like I always preach with the anabolic diet, I don't care where my fat ends up at the end of the day. I don't care where my carbs end up. All I care about is that I stay at my calorie goal and I eat enough protein. Protein. We got 55 grams of protein in this thing. That's great, that's excellent. I eat three of these, I'm dang near to my goal, and I still have 700 calories left in my day. Like I say, man, you can't look at any type of food as bad. Yes, we added sausage to this. Yes, we added bacon. Although we did the healthier versions, there's still a little more fat in those, just based on the nature of the meat. But we shouldn't be scared of eating it because of that. Because at the end of the day, we're setting our protein goals. We're setting our calorie goals. Everything else, ugh, moot point. Wow. Mm. Like I always preach, man, dieting does not have to be boring. You don't gotta eat the same basic foods over and over again. You don't gotta have the eggs. You don't gotta have the oatmeal. You don't gotta have the spinach. You just don't, man. I'm telling you. You can eat whatever you want as long as you follow those two rules of the anabolic diet. If you want more info on that diet, if you haven't seen my anabolic diet explained video, check it out. I'll go over it for you, but I need you to forget what you think you know. Tortillas aren't bad for you. Cheese is not bad for you. None of it matters as long as you make the right choice and you hit your goals. If you do that, you're gonna see success 
success with this no matter what, man. You can have whatever you want. But hey, don't take my word for it, man. Try it your freaking self. Before you talk crap, before you say that I'm wrong, that you can't eat bread, all this stuff's bad for you, try it your freaking self. Put in 100%. Give it a week. Follow the anabolic diet for one week. And tell me you don't feel better. Tell me you haven't lost weight. Tell me you aren't seeing the benefits. I just That's all I want, man. I'm a seeing is believing type of guy. You guys see what I'm eating every day? If you follow me on Instagram, you see every meal. I try to show you guys everything I have. You watch me eat these on camera. Do I look like I'm gaining weight? Do I look like I'm getting less anabolic in any of these videos? Nope, it ain't happening, man. And I'm gonna continue to show you guys that this is the best diet in the world every single video. All you gotta do is keep watching. As always, man, if you have the RJF recipe book, link in description, it's been updated. This recipe's in there along with every other one of these recipes that I've been dropping, man. I'm telling you, by the time we're done with this cookbook, it's gonna be the best freaking cookbook on the internet, hands down. Not only is this the best diet, but this book is the key to all of it. What do you want to eat? I lay it out in here by the gram, all the calories, all the protein, all the macros, step-by-step -step instructions, every ingredient you need. So all you gotta do is pull this bad boy up, read a couple things off, and get to cooking. I make it as easy as possible in here, guys. You invest in it once time you get every future recipe I make on this channel for free. You see how quick I'm pumping these videos out. You see the ideas we're bringing to the table, man. We can have fun with our diet. You can learn to enjoy it. But it all starts with that first step, man. You got to get in the kitchen. You got to get to cooking. And with this, it's going to help you do that. And if all this is confusing and you don't want to have to really mess with too much of it, you'd rather have someone make you a program, tell you what to eat, what to weigh out, all that good stuff, and know that if you follow it, you're going to see results. Check out my site, RomanJSminis.com. I can make you a meal plan. I'll make it so easy to follow. All you got to do is do it. You show up, you get it done, you're going to get results. That's it. I appreciate all of you guys for watching. You know, I really uh, am having the most fun I've ever had on YouTube recently. And I think it's because I'm able to eat whatever I want, film it, share it with you guys. You guys love it. And I'm in the best shape of my life. All those things at the same time. Feels good. Hum. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Comment anything down below. I don't care what it is, bud. What do you want to see me make? How good did this burrito look? When is Final Boss dropping more merch? Whatever you want to put down there, bud, go ahead and do it. Just know that I appreciate it. I really do. Appreciate you guys as always and until next time I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys Get a little bit of them right there about the sausage